Alright, welcome to BMW 1250 Adventure. So this is the bigger, bigger of the two models. This has the 30 liter tank, if I remember correctly. And it's a little bit taller than the base model. But uh, even me as a 775 centimeter rider, it's not too tall. There are three settings in the seat. You can uh, put the tall setting, medium setting and low setting. And I'm, I'm now running in the low setting. So I can reach the ground pretty easily in this one. I actually want to compare this bike to the Pan America uh, Harley Davidson that I rode earlier. And I want to feel how much softer or better this suspension is doing the highway riding because the Pan America felt a little bit uh, jumpy and nervous. It was really bouncy, the suspension and crashy, so I didn't like that at all. Oh yeah, fantastic power from this big, big power plant. And the wind protection is really nice. I don't feel anything in my helmet. I don't hear the wind much at all. This is the quietest bike I've ridden all day. Compared to the Pan, Am Pan America, this is way better, the Splexi. So, and what comes to the comfort of, of the road riding, this is much better, much better. I'm in road mode at the moment, and it's in road mode, the suspension as well. And it's adaptive suspension, so you can change the settings here, how much you like. But uh, I am in the just base road mode settings, and it's the most comfortable ride I've ever had in two wheels. Absolutely. The history of the GS really shines here. You can definitely tell that this has been honed and tweaked for decades to be a perfect companion in this kind of riding. And even in the sixth gear it just pulls really hard if you easily overtake power. You don't have to put the fifth gear in if you want to overtake. Wow, extreme comfort. That's that's what I get from this. Absolutely. Everything, every bump on this road is ironed out. It feels like a air suspension almost. Like you barely feel anything. Incredible, just incredible. If I would have to do touring around the world or this kind of riding a lot, this is wow, this is just incredible. It's so effortless, so effortless. Just trying to... Now I have a cruise control set. So now the bike is keeping itself at 104 indicated. And it's doing it with ease. With such a stability. I've never had this kind of a bike Maybe the KTM Super Adventure, that's very close to this one. I would say it's comparable. But the Harley Davidson is nowhere close this nice. If you have to pay the same money, do not get the Harley Davidson. That's my advice. Wow, the cruise control really takes everything out of this experience. You don't have to do anything. You just chill. Okay, let's go have a little bit of a off-road experience as well just a little when the seat is in the low position I have very easy time reaching the ground when I come to a stop so no problem even with this adventure model because uh, the bike seat can be lowered Wow, it just glides here. You don't even know you're on off like this kind of a road. Unbelievably comfortable. Wow. <laughs> oh, even those little bumps there, you can barely feel anything. Plus, I have the panniers on. I have the top box and the side boxes and you don't even notice. You don't even notice. 
third gear. Oh yeah. I have road tires on this, so I'm not gonna do anything crazy because they're almost slick tires, the stock ones. So I'm just gonna take it very easy here. But wow, this is unbelievably, unbelievably stable. Just, <laughs> there's not enough words to describe how, how effortless this bike is to ride. <laughs> Even sitting here I can just... It's so cushy, it's so cushy! Oh, what a wonderful machine! It's not a bike necessarily for me because I like to ride hard off-road and this is too heavy for that but... Uh, wow, you can't deny how comfortable this bike is! Just incredible, incredible comfort! <laughs> it's so good, I, I just giggle here in my helmet, it's so good. Oh. And I'm in road setting, it's probably even smoother if I'm on off-road setting. But this is already plenty smooth. Like, it's like riding on air. Like a magic carpet. Incredible. Wow, I have to say BMW is it really knows what it's doing. If you're buying a bike just to touring and uh, light gravel stuff and you want to ride with a pillion I'm gonna say this bike is it's pretty close to perfect. And even though it's a heavy bike it doesn't feel hard to ride. It's really calm, really stable. It's not fast like the smaller meter middleweight bikes. You can feel the mass when you do this. But it's so predictable, so stable, so calm about any anything you do with this bike. It feels It's perfect. It's as close to a perfect as you can get with this kind of bike. I could just ride a thousand kilometers with this and don't even think about it. Now cruise control. Only thing I would hope they do, because this bike really suits it, it would have to have the radar cruise control. But even having this normal one is so nice. And you can adjust it digitally, one by one, down and up. So it's not a big problem to just follow cars like this. And now that I have the cruise control set, I can basically ride it without hands. <laughs> so, so easy and so stable. I don't need earplugs riding this bike. It's so quiet because there's so such a good air resistance in this plexiglass. It doesn't really give my helmet any, any problems. So I don't hear the wind barely at all. And the bike is really quiet so there's no need for earplugs with this this bike. I could see myself buying this kind of bike in 10 years time maybe. Or maybe if I want to ride with the pillion around the world. This is probably the best option for that. I would maybe consider the normal version as well, even though I don't have a problem with putting my feet down in this one. The normal version would would give me just a little bit lower seat height as well. But wow, this is such a joy to drive, ride this one. I feel like I'm meditating, I feel like I'm, I'm relaxing when I drive this. The standing position is perfect, everything is really nice. It is fat underneath your legs and between your legs, it's really a thick bike. But I don't really want to compare this to a Tenere or anything, it's a completely different animal. So This is a touring bike and one of the best. Because you can actually do quite a bit of off-road riding with this one too, so... It is a good good bike for anything almost. And I would say it's one of the easiest bikes to ride. 
the weight is really down low and you can notice that it's very easy to control in lower speeds so even anyone that ha doesn't have much experience in motorcycles could ride this immediately and feel at home perfectly at home the sound is not super exciting but you can also change the exhaust if you want that but yeah I don't think it suits this kind of bike this kind of bike kind of needs to be quiet and sophisticated and the sound is not that bad it's it's quiet but the sound not the note is pretty good wow a great bike amazing bike amazing price tag as well but you get what you pay for way better than the Harley-Davidson way better <laughs>